I'm Jonathan Brooker. On behalf of Aquatic Services in the town of Oakville, welcome everyone back to the pools. We're excited to have everybody return and we've got a lot of new safety features in place to make sure that you have a very safe experience while you enjoy the pools. So come this way and I'll show you what we've got. Jonathan, I know we're super excited about our registered programs opening up. So why don't you walk me through what that process is gonna be like? Sure. So uh, patrons are to register online. Um, when they arrive at the pool, we're asking patrons to not arrive too early, just about five minutes before their swim time starts. And we'll have everybody line up two meters apart out here with the social distancing markers. The staff will come outside to greet you and open the doors to the facility and we'll take you inside for screening. So as you enter the facility, you will notice that we have two-way traffic marked on the ground with decals with arrows on them. And additionally, it's a tape marker in the middle to ensure that patrons are keeping six feet apart at all time to ensure safety. Also, when you enter the facility, this is the time that we do ask everyone to please put on a mask. All right, I'm super excited. I can see the pool. Now, Jonathan, tell me, do I need to be wearing my bathing suit before I come into the pool? And what do I do once I end up here? Okay, so now that you're here, we just ask that you come with your bathing suit on underneath your clothes so it's easier to change once you get on deck. When you enter the facility, the change rooms are not available at that point in time. And Nabil, we're just going to check to make sure you're registered for this swim. Yep, you registered online, you're here. Can you please take a look at the COVID screening questions here and let me know if you answer yes to any of these questions or you're fine? No, I don't have any of the symptoms. Okay, so you can go ahead and walk onto the pool deck and I'll meet you out there. Okay, so right this way, Nabil. As you may notice, the change rooms are closed on your way in. You can use them on your way out, but we ask that you do come with your bathing suit on underneath your clothes on your way in. Follow this clear path out onto the pool deck. When you enter the pool deck, over to your left, you'll notice that we have a series of bins and chairs for you to put your items and store them while you're swimming so they don't get on the pool deck. All right, Nabil, now that you're out on the pool deck and you've put your stuff away, you're free to take your mask off and hop into the pool. So the town of Oakville is excited to offer swimming lessons once again. There are non-contact lessons. If a child is unable to support themselves in the water, they will have to have a parent or guardian attend the lesson with them to support them in the water and our staff will give instructions. Once they're at the age where they can support themselves up the surface safely, typically at the swimmer four level, they can come to the lesson on their own and the instructor will teach them from the deck and at a safe distance in the pool. When you come to swimming lessons with your child, we ask that only one parent or one guardian comes with the child because we have very limited space in our new viewing gallery. So at this point in time, we are offering personal flotation devices to all the patrons at the facility but we're not offering any other equipment to prevent the spread of COVID. During water fit classes, we are offering water belts and noodles for water fit classes only. Once they're used, they're put in a bin, then sanitized by our staff and returned for the next user for the next morning. All right, I hope you had a great swim. Now that you're done and you've got your stuff and you're heading into the change room, we do ask at this point that you please put your mask back on to enter the change room and to exit the building right this way. So when you enter our change rooms, you will notice that there are social distancing decals on the ground and there are a limited amount of people allowed in each change room. We've taken a lot of time to take measurements and figure out the maximum capacity based on the Life Saving Society's guidelines for safe spacing in the change room. At this point in time, the hair dryers are not an option for our patrons and unfortunately, we're not allowed to bring them from home either. This is to help prevent the spread COVID-19 virus. Boy, I had a great swim. I'm a little bummed that I couldn't use a hairdryer, but Jonathan, tell me, what's next? How do I exit the building? Okay, so from this point, you've got all your stuff. You come this way, right out the doors here, and you're gonna to wanna to stay to the right. Jonathan, I just wanna thank you so much. I was a little apprehensive about what to expect when I registered for the swim program, but I couldn't be happier. I know you guys are doing the best to keep us safe, and we appreciate it. Until next time, I can't wait to be back for my next lesson. Thanks, Nabil. We'll see you soon. 
Thank you very much for coming to Queen Elizabeth Park Community and Cultural Center and taking our tour of the facility. Please note that all facilities may differ slightly with the flow in and out of the building. However, we are all following the same Provincial and Life Saving Society safety guidelines. Now, Jonathan, I couldn't leave QEP without asking you, what's your favorite art piece here? My favorite art piece is Protecting the Town. And this is a photograph of a gentleman standing at the end of the pier on Lake Ontario. And one thing I love about the Great Lakes is that I'm a sailor, a windsurfer, and a stand-up paddleboarder. I spend a lot of time out there. Most of the time when we see the lakes, they look very unassuming and calm. But given the right weather conditions over a short period of time, they can transform into amazingly treacherous waters. And I think that this picture shows the transformation of the lakes that can occur. And within a few hours, it can go back to normal. Oh,